Hey y'all, so in this video, I'm going to tell you why I quit my job as a pharmacist. I used to always worry about what people thought of me and would try so hard to live by society standards. Then I realized that I was created to be different and regardless of what I did, I would never fit in. So I decided to follow my dreams instead. Join me on this journey as I grow in my faith, go through the ups and downs of pharmacy school, and most importantly, being God's masterpiece. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, um, you may have seen the live video that I did where I gave a life update and pretty much like let you know why I quit my job as a pharmacist. In my video where I shared uh, my first job, um, and then in parentheses put S for jobs. Um, I talked about, you know, having the opportunity to work two jobs and it was great. Um, however, things started to get a little difficult. Um, like, really difficult. Pretty much what happened was uh, things were starting to get busy at both jobs. Um, more of my time was needed at both jobs and I had to make a very, very, very hard decision to leave one job. Um, I was thinking about my long-term goals as far as, you know, what direction I want my career to go in as far as being a pharmacist and, you know, the opportunities that I could have. Um, and just kind of thinking about like what the job market looks like in certain areas so um with that being said i decided to quit my job as a retail pharmacist um i was working in a smaller chain pharmacy um so i really enjoyed it i really liked my co-workers i really liked the staff um it did get busy of course however it wasn't as bad as i've seen in certain areas of pharmacy um but they wanted me to work full-time um, i was part-time there but that wasn't going to work with my hospital pharmacy job and i did not want to quit my hospital pharmacy job like um in the long run that's where i see myself as a pharmacist and so I decided that it would be better to um, leave retail so that I can focus more on my hospital pharmacy job. So um, this was really hard for me because, you know, at both jobs, I was not full time and I did have the opportunity to be full time um, in retail. However, um, it wasn't going to work out as far as like my schedule. Um, at the hospital, like it just was not going to work out. As much as I did not want to leave, I really wanted to stay because I really did enjoy my time. I really did like interacting with the patients on a daily basis, but it just couldn't work. So it was such a hard decision for me, like a lot of prayer, a lot of talking about it with my parents, my sister and my friends. Like I was just going back and forth, back and forth of trying to figure out how I could make it work with both jobs and it just could not work, which sucked. But um, God is truly faithful and amazing and I trusted him and I had to send my letter of resignation. And yeah, so as of right now, I only work as a hospital pharmacist. Um, I do not work full time. However, ever since I left retail, I've been working full time hours. So God is truly amazing and truly faithful. I can't even explain to you how grateful I am. So things have truly, you know, been around the same financially wise. Thank God. Um, so I'm truly grateful for that because that was one of my biggest fears. I was like, God, like, what am I going to do? You know, like, how is this going to work? And he, he made it work. Like I've been working full time. It's truly God, like literally only God can do that because I was, that was my biggest fear. I was just like, am I going to be okay financially? Because I just refinanced my loans and I was like, 
going to happen. <laughs> but thankfully, um, everything is good. Honestly, like y'all, y'all know from the jump, I've just been focused on, you know, trusting God, trusting and believing that he has good things planned for me. And even when like that path looks a little dark, trusting that he's holding my hand and he is guiding me through it. That's my encouragement to y'all. If you are, you know, in a hard place, if you're trying to like make a really tough decision, literally give it to God, like give it to God. And he will truly, truly, truly make things better, <laughs> make them right. Um, he will help you to make that tough decision. So now that the vaccine is out, um, that's where a lot of my time has been focused on at the hospital. Um, just focus on, on like helping prepare them, even administer if necessary, while also still working as a hospital pharmacist. So yeah, um, I like to keep y'all posted. I like to keep y'all updated. This was like back in December, but I've been so busy y'all like, which is I'm, I'm not complaining and I'm super thankful because things could have happened differently. So I'm truly thankful that um, I'm able to work. One of the things that I do every single day before going into work is I pray because you have to be so prayerful, especially as a pharmacist, because you really have to make sure that you see everything on a patient profile before you verify medication, all this stuff. So I just pray every morning that God is my eyes, that he is my wisdom, he is my protection, that everything I verify for a patient, that they are okay, like all these things, um, just because he's brought me this far. So I cannot expect that I can do my job by myself. Like, no, it's God. So I give him all the honor, the glory and the credit. So yeah, that's pretty much like a mini update as far as like my job. Um, I really genuinely enjoy my time at the hospital. Like, I honestly look forward to going into work every day because my colleagues are amazing. They're super patient. They're super helpful, so kind. Um, and that was one of my biggest prayers of being in an environment that was healthy because you can have a great job. You can have a job that pays a lot of money, but if it's a toxic work environment, that could be very taxing on your health. I wanted to make sure that my mental and spiritual um, well, well being were important and prioritized. And I truly, truly have that at my job. Um, the opportunities that I've had has really just blown my mind. God has just shown me like, hey, I got you. Like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything. But he has just provided so many opportunities that like I keep, like I wish I could go into detail, but I can't. But just know God is faithful. God seriously blows my mind. And like the opportunities that I've had so far are just like kind of unheard of, especially for a new grad. So um, yeah, that's, that's all I can say. So that's it for the update. Y'all already know the deal. You can comment below or you can email me at behismasterpiece at gmail.com. Go out, be kind, be caring, be loving. And as always, be his masterpiece. Bye, y'all.